We are rapidly approaching the end of an era, with the final Boeing 747 set to be delivered in a handful of weeks to Atlas Air. However, the last 747 has sparked controversy following the aircraft emerging from painting in Portland a couple of days ago. Many had hoped that the final 747 would emerge in some livery to pay tribute to it being the last one of its kind, potentially Joe Sutter or much more. However, the aircraft appeared wearing a standard Atlas Air livery and sported Apex Logistics decals on one side of the aircraft. While Lee Ham News and Analysis report that a Joe Sutter sticker will be added, why did the 747 roll out like this and not, say, in a fantastic retro livery, replicating the very first 747 of RA001? Let's explore that very question that so many have had. Firstly, it must be said that the decision on how to paint an aircraft comes down to the customer receiving the aircraft. While yes, Boeing builds the plane and is responsible for getting it ready for delivery, they have to listen to the customer, whether that be for passenger aircraft interiors or even the painting services completed before the delivery. It means Atlas Air is the one that green lights a paint job and an airline slash company will never take delivery of a plane that they've not had a say in how it looked visually. Atlas Air inked a deal with Kiana Nagel at the beginning of 2022, a charter agreement that would see the company mentioned operate two Boeing 7478Fs, specifically the penultimate and the final one to be produced as well. The penultimate 747 has already been delivered and does sport the Kiana Nagel livery, or should I say, decals, and we are now awaiting delivery of the final aircraft, not just of the 747, but as part of this deal. This deal came in response to capacity market developments and means that Kiana Nagel will charter the entire and also exclusive capacity of the aircraft to operate their flights globally. They note in a release that they are also supporting trade lanes, such as the Trans-Pacific routes and much more. As part of the deal, the company's titles were to be applied to the aircraft. What does this mean for a tribute on the plane? Well, any hopes of it looking like RA001, the very first 747, have been diminished. However, there is still room for adding a decal to the aircraft, and that is now looking quite likely according to reputable reports from Leham News and Analysis, although this will be added at a later date rather than during the painting process. It must be said though, adding paint to a plane would have certainly given it a more permanent feel, and many people have taken to online forums and social media to share designs of their ideal Final 747, even incorporating the key titles of Atlas Air and Apex Logistics in some way, shape or form. Unfortunately though, cash is king, and in these situations, existing contracts do play a fundamental part in decisions undertaken by management, even down to painting an aircraft. The last 747 at best will have a decal remembering Joe Sutter applied, the man that made the 747 possible. However, as for anything else, well, it will be a sadly uninspiring and hugely missed opportunity that'll sit with Atlas Air and its partner for decades to come. As we've funnily enough seen on social media, a handful of people say the only time when we may get to do something truly special for the aircraft is when it hits the scrapyard, and at that point, it may be too late. The last 747 built will be delivered in the coming weeks, and it's the end of what's been 50 plus years of consistent production in the industry. It was unfortunately also met with the realisation that Atlas Air would not really do anything special with the aircraft in terms of painting the livery in, say, a unique colour or retro scheme. This is a disappointment for admirers of the aircraft, aviation enthusiasts, and the series itself as a farewell. However, at the end of the day, from an executive and company level, there are many things to consider when it comes to painting the aircraft. While not justifying something of not being done for the plane, it is out of our hands, and at the very least, we may still get a Joe Sutter sticker. We know many of you have very strong opinions on the livery on the last 747, and the comment section is going to be the perfect place to share your thoughts, discuss with other aviation enthusiasts, and much more. We thank you very much for watching and hope you've been enjoying the frequent uploads. Normal service will resume with a video every second day from today onwards. Thanks for watching and we'll see you then.